ladies and gentlemen, you're hearing the voice of me, Steve Canner. I'm directing the Deep Blue Sea here at the Little Theater. And we have three of the principal members of the cast with us right now. Well, let's, first of all, we've got to know who you are, right? So would you just go down the line and tell us what your name is and what character you're playing? Well, my name is Trevor Butlin, and the character I play is Sir William Collier. And Sir William Collier is uh, a judge, so quite high status. He also plays the husband of Hester here. Uh, Hester has left me with this rascal over here. And uh, <laughs> basically my role in the play is to be try and win Hester back, basically. It's to suffer. It's to suffer and to try and yeah. get Hester back. <laughs> because I'm bewildered by the fact that she would want to go off with this rascal here who is not to be trusted. Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Karen Gordon playing Hester Collier, but known for most of the play as Hester Page, although of course I'm not married to this gentleman, I pretend I am, because morals in 1949, I would be so ashamed for the people who are in this sort of this apartment block, like this house of flats to actually find out it's my guilty secret. And I'm almost, I think, She's, she's the bird in the gilded cage. She can't go out into the outside world because she has no status. She's left her husband. She's with a man she adores, but she feels he doesn't really adore her quite as much as she'd like him to. So she gives all the love and find out what happens. Ready, uh, Ben's character is a veteran of the Second World War, uh, coming back, test pilot, frustrated, but he is not adjusting necessarily to civilian life as well as he did, uh, you know, does. And unfortunately, in that time, it was the old fuck it up and face facts and everything. Isn't that one of the difficult things you find when you talk about him? Yeah, I guess so. It's hard to work out with what I've read so far, Freddie, if, you know, if there is some scars there, if there's some scar tissue from previous experiences to why his problems are there, or if he's just, you know, that old, lifestyle, that, that's that, that kind of squatty lifestyle where he just lives for the moment and has fun. So I like to think there's a bit more depth to him, so I hope that you know, there's a bit of scar tissue there and that's part of the reason why. Well, one thing, folks, if you, if you like shows about human relationships, you'll love this show. And I'm going to throw something at the three of them right now to talk a little bit about this in terms of the show, and that's the concept of love. And I think this has a lot to do about love, there's a lot to do about commitment, a lot to do about the complexity of relationships between men and women. And I was just wondering, I'll throw it out to the three of you, what you thought about that as you're working on these characters. I think it's a very interesting question, and I think there's some wonderful dialogue, as you'd expect from Rattigan. And one of the parts I particularly love is, we have a dialogue about our different views of love. Yeah. And you challenged me about that. And I, uh, I do think I love Hester, but you come back to me and say, we have different ideas of love. You wanted a loving wife. That is not my idea of love. So I think he does adore her, I think he loves her. But also, it's 1949 England. Um, he throws his status around. He, he does want her to be a loving wife, but he can't relate to her in the way that she needs. Hester says, you know, what, obviously, she's got the very intellectual husband who treats her as a prized possession. She has the man who says that she married the first man who asked her and ran off with the first one who really paid her any attention as a woman. So in a very shallow way you could see it, just lust, respectability. But as she says, what she feels for Freddie is so deep, it can't just be tied up in a neat little parcel and labelled lust.